Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today's lecture is on Canada's current trade agreement. So we are going to take a look at who Canada deals with fairly regularly when it comes to trade because these are their trade agreements. Okay, so make sure you get your notes out, you follow the storm philosophy, sit back and enjoy. So today we're going to identify what exactly a trade agreement is. We're going to take a look at who Canada trades with, some types of trade agreements, and then Canada's current trade agreements, who they have trade agreements with right now. All right, so what exactly are trade agreements? Well, trade agreements are all about making trade easier, to encourage trade. So it's an enforceable treaty, which means it's really a, a legal document. It's on that fancy paper that you see in lawyers' offices and stuff. Um, but it's to encourage countries, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, uh, to to increase their trade between them. Um, it's to increase the amount of imports and exports. It's to eliminate tariffs and other trade barriers such as quotas and subsidies. It's to establish terms of trade so you know exactly how much you're trading between countries and what's acceptable and what's not. And it's to really encourage foreign direct investment so that companies will see this as an opportunity and set up operations in the participating countries and therefore provide jobs and wealth and so on and so forth. So it's all about helping each other out and increase um, GDP and therefore country's wealth. And so as mentioned, trade agreements can be between sorry two or more countries. And if it's between three or more parties, we consider this a multilateral trade agreement. If it's between two countries, we consider this a bilateral trade agreement. From this map of the world you see, you can see that Canada has many bilateral and one large multilateral trade agreement. So there's many free trade agreements all over the world. Some have more than others, but it doesn't matter which trade agreement they have, they will fall into one of three types. Now one thing to note before we identify each of these three. All trade agreements, so the three types, eliminate or attempt to entirely eliminate tariffs between members for goods and services. So let's take a look at each. The free trade area is a type of trade agreement where the member countries all eliminate tariffs between each other. But if one of those member countries want to create a free trade agreement with a country outside of that membership, then they are left to their own devices and can do so without any ramifications within the trade area. This is what we see with NAFTA. Canada, the United States, and Mexico all are in a free trade area, the North American Free Trade Agreement, and therefore Canada can create free trade agreements with countries all over the world, and it doesn't matter what Mexico or the United States thinks. It does, but you know what I'm saying. And then there's the Customs Union. This is where a group of countries enter an agreement whereby they again eliminate tariffs between each other, um, but they have a, a common understanding in a single group of tariffs for imports within to their union. Um, and so any member within that Customs Union, if they wish to trade with an outside member, well then all of them will agree to the tariffs or um, the terms of trade and it's not left up to the individual country. The last one is a common market. This is a Customs Union but with a slightly enhanced version to it. So a common market, again, elimination of tariffs between all member countries, um, and that if they wish to trade with outside members, then the whole group is going to agree to it. The difference here is that within their membership, within the market, the common market, um, all countries have freely flowing capital and labor. So a person can come from one country and work in another country without ever having to worry about uh, getting a new, let's say, uh, work visa of some sort or anything like that. All countries are basically on the same playing field. And this is what we see with uh, the European Union in a common market. And so when it comes to Canada and creating free trade agreements, it really comes back to this question we looked at before. Who is Canada looking to trade with? Which other country out there in the world does Canada want to strike up a free trade agreement with? Well, it all comes down to what that country offers in terms of the opportunity, in terms of financial backing, in terms of resources, in terms of the skills and knowledge base that they have. So all of those factors play a role in terms of which 
country to strike up a free trade agreement with. Canada will look to those countries in which they conduct uh, a lot of trade with, right? If you're going to conduct a lot of trade with another country, then you are definitely going to want to strike a free trade agreement with them to make it easier and promote more and greater trade. And so that is definitely something that Canada has taken into account when it's struck up all of their free trade agreements. So let's take a look at those. So when we think of Canada and trade agreements, we often think of NAFTA. Well, guess what? Canada has many trade agreements, the 10 altogether, between Panama, Jordan, Colombia, Peru, the European Free Trade Association, which is different from the European Union, Costa Rica, Chile, Israel, and yes, Mexico and the United States in our North American Free Trade Agreement. So all together we have 10 free trade agreements, but guess what? Breaking news, Canada just struck a trade agreement with the European Union, and therefore we now have an 11th trade agreement um, that we have in place now uh, to trade with the European Union, their common market. So how cool is that? On the day that you're learning about free trade agreements Canada has, they strike a deal with the European Union. It's a moment in history, folks, a moment in history. So Canada definitely has a world vision when it comes to free trade and expanding across the globe. Prior to Stephen Harper as Prime Minister, Canada had well, NAFTA, our North American Free Trade Agreement with the United States and Mexico, an agreement with Costa Rica, Chile and Israel. Since Stephen Harper has taken over, our government and our country therefore has led itself to agreements with um, many other countries from Colombia to uh, Peru to the Honduras to um, the European Free Trade Association and we are constantly looking to expand this kind of empire in terms of free trade agreements. Um, as was mentioned we've struck a deal with the European Union so now all of a sudden we have an agreement with a common market that has 27 countries within it and we are currently looking to expand into many other countries. So we are always looking to expand strike free trade agreements because we believe that is going to benefit our economy benefit their economy obviously um, but benefit ours first and foremost and therefore benefit you as citizens so that brings us to the end of our lecture now we've looked at all these different types of trade agreements what a trade agreement is and the Canada's current trade agreements I want you to think about this for a second what benefits are is does Canada receive from all of these agreements um, think of it in terms of the individual agreements we have with let's say Peru or Colombia and then think of it on the whole as far as all of our free trade agreements think of it in terms of the agreement that we've just struck with the European Union what are we benefiting from that so consider all of these things uh, make sure your notes are in order you have a question for discussion and that's it that's all that's everything we'll see you tomorrow